Welcome back to Living It Away. Do you know what a thyroid nodule is? Well, today we are talking about recognizing symptoms of a thyroid problem and how it affects you. Dr. Carol Wong specializes in internal medicine at Adventist Health Castle. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Th now, I just want to go ahead and point this out. The thyroid is some right around the, the, the Adam's apple. Is that right? Uh, it's right in the middle of the neck. Okay. Uh, it's below the larynx. Below the larynx. Larynx okay. and uh, above the collarbone. Above the collarbone. So about right where I'm touching it's right here okay perfect yes okay so the thyroid gland what is it and what does it do for us or against us um, thyroid gland is a a butterfly shaped gland um, as I said located in the middle of the neck mm -hmm. um, it produces thyroid hormones uh, which regulates how um, your body uses and stores the energy so thyroid nodules what are those because that sounds like it's something attached to it. Um, thyroid nodule actually is a round or oval shaped growth. Mm -hmm. um, usually it is detected by routine physical examination by your doctor. Most of the patients do not have any symptoms. They don't even know they have such nodule there. And so what happens when a nodule is found? What, what does it mean? When the nodule is found, um, then your doctor will ask you to go for some tests, mm -hmm. um, such as blood test or neck like imaging test, which is thyroid or just ultrasound. Why is it? Why is this so important? Because I, I know that the th there are, there's cancers in the thyroids, and so why is it important for folks to get routine checkups and and if they start to feel something? What, what would they feel? What are some of the symptoms that they would feel? Um, some patients do not have the symptoms at all. At all? At all. Um, some patients might notice there's a lump in the neck mm -hmm. by themselves. Would it be sore? Uh, most of them are not sore at all. Wow. It's just no pain. Because I, I know that uh, some folks would be like, oh, I have a sore throat. Maybe I should go get it checked out. Is right. it a thyroid problem? But that's not necessarily the case. No. Okay. No. Okay, so is it, what about pregnant women? Is it safe for them to be treated if they have something like this? Um, if a woman have a history of a thyroid nodule, mm -hmm. uh, if they want to get pregnant, they should talk to their doctor. I do recommend to have their thyroid hormone checked before they get pregnant. The reason is because thyroid hormone fluctuates during pregnancy. Mm. So it might affect the health of the pregnant woman and the baby. So it's really important for women then, but it's a little more serious for men, is it? Um, it depends on the nature of the nodule. Uh -huh. uh, most of the nodules are benign, and if they're small, we can just observe without any treatment, and they can be followed regularly. Just make sure they don't grow bigger and they don't turn into something else. The concern is if the nodules is getting bigger very fast mm. and uh, the doctor usually will send you for a further test such as a fine needle biopsy just make sure it is not a cancer mm. could you take us real quick briefly through the steps of what a patient would deal with if something like this is found like what is the process okay if the nodule is found um, usually you should go to a doctor mm -hmm. have the blood test done and make sure this nodule is not make your gland or produce too much thyroid hormones. In that case, patient will experience some symptoms, such as weight loss, mm -hmm. nervousness, increased appetite, fatigue, rapid heartbeat, sometimes irregular heartbeat. Wow. Well, we can find a bunch more information on your website. We'll have that link to our website. But thank you so much, Dr. Carol Wong, for, for joining us, Adventist Health Castle. You've been great. I, I appreciate you uh, coming in with the information. I know that yeah. a lot of people think about it, and it's important for them. Yes. And so thank you so much for being here on Living 808. It's my pleasure to be here. Appreciate it.